Hi everybody, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for whoever needs it at this time. As usual, we start by lighting the Palo Santo to cleanse the space. So it's just us and the message. If you'd like, feel free to inhale and exhale. We cleanse the space. So it's just us and the message. I go ahead and check your chakras at this time since I've just completed the cleansing of my aura. Let's check your crown. You're trying to get out of your head, third eye. A little blocked throat. You are feeling like you can communicate, which is good. Heart, open heart. You're wanting to come to an understanding. Solar. You're feeling like good about where you're at right now. Sacral. It's fine. Root. You're okay. All right, the biggest thing for you right now is just that you're kind of like stuck in your head. You're trying to like wrap your head around what's going on, but like thoughts are all over the place, right? You're like not, you're grounded, but you're not, if that makes sense. You're all kind of heady right now. Um, your third eye is a little bit blocked, right? So this is us like, we're okay in the moment, but being able to like see what's gonna come next and project out a little bit is feeling a little bit um, weird right now. You are definitely knowing what you want to say and you're saying what you want to say, but you still feel like you're not getting uh, interesting. I just like hit myself with my nail. It's kind of like you're, you, you're saying what you want to say, but then the more you say, it's like you are something about like, you can say it, but it doesn't necessarily mean something. And it's almost like you say it and you're like, oh my God, why did I even say that, right? Like tripping on yourself, like, right? why did I even say that? Why did I even say that? And you're wanting so much to be open. You're wanting your heart to be available, right? you're feeling confident, you're feeling good about yourself, you're feeling grounded, but you're just super in your head. So let's go ahead and figure out what's going on with you at this time. If you have something to drink, go ahead and take a sip if you'd like. I'm drinking a Vietnamese, which is, if you're not aware, it's espresso with sweetened condensed milk. It's like literally the greatest and you've never had it before. If you've never had it, definitely try it espresso with like a tablespoon or two tablespoons of sweet and condensed milk does the trick i used to get it from my local um restaurant like the guy that has a local restaurant and uh i started to make my own because they're four dollars so anyway Let's go ahead and tap into your reading and let's get started here. We always start with an archetype card, um, Archetype Oracle by Kim Kranz. Yeah, not feeling like you can reach somebody, not feeling like you can reach someone. You're trying to extend yourself here. You're really trying to get an awareness of what's going on, but you just keep feeling left out. You just keep feeling more confused, right? Just keep feeling more confused. Confused. 
Maybe you're also trying to offer some intimacy. The internal child. Tell me more about this internal child. You're trying, you're, tr you're trying. So here's the internal child, right? And here's the Knight of Cups. My neighbor just sneezed really loudly. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> and um, here's the Knight of Cups. So you're trying, right? That's the whole like, like you're like hitting yourself, right? So like you might have an interest in like a love interest, right? And the Knight of Cups is all about like our, our like flirtatious guy, masculine energy, right? So you might be the masculine here. Or if I'm feeling like you're a masculine energy. So if you're not the masculine, this might not be uh, an energy for you. Or if you're the feminine here, if there's a masculine that's trying to like come towards you, but they're more of like a little bit of like a childlike energy and they're trying really hard to be cute and court you, right? But it's just not like coming out like super in their head, they're, like worrying about the, what they're going to say next, right? Overthinking energy like crazy. And if you're the masculine, you're totally overthinking anything, everything. You're trying to come off super calm, cool, and collected, right? Like you have like control over what's happening, right? Smooth, moving it, right? But, and you are smooth, you are smooth. You're just tripping up, you're tripping on yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and read the Eternal Child. The inner child, the child of joy. The eternal child is connected to the timeless, ageless, and infinite aspects of life. It is radiant, fearless, and seeks joy above all else and at any cost. It struggles being bound to an aging body with physical limitations in a world that demands attention to detail and logistics. The eternal child wants to nix all the rules and responsibilities and go beyond what others say is possible. It wants to return with plenty of friends to the land of the free where divine wine and creativity pour from the earth and sky. We all want to sip from the well of eternal youth, and this makes the eternal child naturally popular, perhaps even famous. The eternal child glimmers. It reminds us of what it is possible, what is magical about this precious life. When light, joyful, playful, accepts all, magic. When dark, addicted, selfish, adrift, burns out. Go deeper, Icarus, Peter Pan, Rumi's has anyone seen the boy? The archetype, this archetype is so spirited that when its appetite for life isn't satiated, it seeks spirits and su substance elsewhere. The eternal child struggles with addictions of all varieties. Celebrity culture is heavily based on this archetype as the phrase live hard and die young and the series of artists and musicians who died at 27 interesting so there's something in you again with this knight of cups here this knight of cups is so romantic and playful and flirty and i want to actually kind of say old school right they're super old school 9 11 they like to be courteous and hold the door for their girlfriend or boyfriend right they want to bring the flowers to the door they want to ring the doorbell they want to court they they are forehead kissers, right? They're really cute. They're just cute Valentine's Day gifts, right? Like just adorable, okay? And you, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the masculine perspective here. And if you're the feminine watching, then you can just be aware that you're tapping into the energy of the masculine that's trying to come at you right now, okay? Um, and if there's no romance involved here, then this is just two people that are 
or one person right now that's just in the energy of wanting to be adorable and romantic and love letter status, right? And you're feeling like you're not able to do it in the way that you wanted it to come out and it's just feeling a little bit weird for you and maybe you're feeling a little bit childish, okay? Or like the world around you doesn't support the lifestyle that you want to be living. And like it said, you want to just kind of like break free from all of these, these societal norms and like just have fun and be playful and enjoy yourself, right? I mean, yeah, who, who wouldn't want to have that going on, right? Tell me more about this situation. Yeah, just like being burdened by the responsibilities of life, right? And you're trying to get this new thing going, right? And you just feel foolish. You feel foolish, but you're going for it, right? With the fool here in reverse with the chariot, right? You feel foolish, but you're going for it, okay? You're going to go for it. 11-11, you're going to make it happen, right? Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We are starting something new here and... You know what? At the end of the day, you're you'd rather lose and have potential failure, which you don't actually believe in failure and picking up. You believe that everything that is not successful, um, it's not that it's not successful. I'm wording that improperly. Um, everything that doesn't come to completion in the way that you thought it was going to is just the end of that chapter and the start of the next one, okay? It's just the start of the next chapter. So you're going full force towards the situation that you are in right now, whether you look ridiculous or not right? Whether you look childish, you look foolish, you look like you're stumbling a little bit, you're going for it, okay? Tell me a little bit about the situation this person is going towards. You're going towards an empress, but the empress is in reverse, okay? So the empress is in reverse. Why is the empress in reverse? Why is the empress in reverse? Now you have, you have the four of wands in reverse, right? Which is about potential marriages that don't work out, right? Potential commitments, potential celebrations that don't work out. And this empress wants fulfillment, right? She's in reverse because she's seeking fulfillment. And at this time, her ability to achieve fulfillment is, um, is actually what's causing her to be in reverse. Because what she does not realize is she already has everything going for her, right? She already has everything going for her. She already is beautiful. She already is nurturing. She already is abundant. She already is um, uh, intelligent and creative and sensual. But she's thinking that she's not those things. She's thinking that she's not those things. So at this time, you are approaching an empress that's a little bit insecure within herself. And that comes from her interest in pursuing fulfillment and achieving certain things, right? Achieving certain things. And 
this empress is definitely seeking something that's going to make her feel like she's welcome, like she fits in, like she's worthy, right? How can this person approach this empress? Just <clears throat> approaching this empress with the notion that you have a vision for what you're going to want in the future, right? Without any pressure, without any time constraints here, right? This is you approaching her with the awareness that you do have a vision for what you want for the future, right? You have a vision for what you want for the future. You know where you're going. You know Mars and Aries, right? Mars is our actions that we take and Aries is the first sign of the zodiac all about the people that are the ones that dig the first few inches in that hole, right? Taurus is the next sign that goes ahead and keeps digging that hole even further. And then Gemini just goes in and digs the hole and then digs the hole to the other friends and everything like that. And we can just keep going on and on and on, right? But Mars and Aries, you have to show up confidently, even if you look foolish, right? Even if you look foolish. What's that movie, um, Say Anything, right? Where, um, forgive me, I can't remember the name of the actor. He's actually one of my favorites. Hmm. I'm so bad with Hollywood names and remembering those kinds of things. Um, he's standing outside of her home, right? She, he's got no money, right? He's totally poor and he comes from, you know, a lower class, middle class family and she's upper class, right? She's upper class, you know, Ivy League school in the future, right? Father is completely loaded, right? And here he is trying to, you know, buy into her life, right? And and get her attention and woo her. And she's kind of like, I don't really know how I feel about this, but he's like, I don't care how you feel, I'm going for it, right? And he holds up that boom box, right? He holds up that boom box in the rain when I think she even left him, right? Because she's going to her school, right? And he's putting on the speaker loud as can be in the front yard of her home, right? And he's blasting a song and it's like a love song, right? I can't remember what song it is, but such an iconic scene in that movie. He doesn't care how crazy he looks. This is the woman of his dreams and he's gonna do whatever he possibly can to get the attention of this woman that he loves, right? So even if you look foolish, don't worry about it, right? And I'm such like, I'm such the kind of human that sees human society as a species and that's one species of many on the planet right so we court each other men court women and i don't mean to be sexist sexist here but um just kind of work with me here with the analogy someone is courting somebody else right and a man courting a woman if you watch the planet earth shows right it's it's if you watch the bird if you ever watch planet earth like watch the ones or go on youtube of like birds courting other birds and the bird cleaning up their space right they have elaborate dances they have they have huge measures to prove themselves to these women that they're trying to court right all species go through the courting process and the colors in their feathers and the moves they make look crazy right look crazy but that's the reality is that sometimes the more wild you look when you're trying to court someone the more you're gonna stand out right and if you look foolish right if you look foolish that's okay it's okay and if this person does not respond to you because they're looking for something particular then they weren't supposed to be for you right 
if you believe in God and, and the divinity behind faith, right? Um, you know, God will put you where you're supposed to be and with who you're supposed to be with. So, all right. Give me more about the situation. Strength. It's getting um, a little bit harder for you to like seem like you have it all together and like you're super strong and and you yeah it's just don't give up right don't give up because you're wanting to give up you're like eh, it's not worth it right I'm maybe you've been shut down or maybe you're insecure within yourself and oh I'm not good enough I'm I'm not worthy enough right but don't lose the faith here don't lose faith right in the name of love Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Mars and Pisces, right? Don't give up. Don't give up. All right, let's pull from the Sacred Destiny. Protection and Solitude at the bottom of the deck. You are protected at this time right this big oak tree here in this picture this big oak tree is providing you with a lot of um protection and comfort under her branches right don't allow anyone to make you feel as though you're not safe strong comfortable right you are protected in this process of trying to go after this person that you are falling for right and that's a beautiful thing that's a beautiful thing i also think that um trying to find a big tree that you guys could have a picnic underneath would be really cute two 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 on the clock there um finding yeah a really cute spot to have a nice picnic underneath right there's a stink bug in my room here in my living room here and he's attracted to the light so if you hear a sound that's the stink bug The music stopped. I don't know why, but we're just gonna go with it because I don't feel like getting up. Mm. Sitting somewhere, right? Everything happens for a reason in life in general. So it's funny where the stink bug sound, right, was not disturbing but for some people could potentially be disturbing right so then i brought it up just in case you were aware that sound is a stink bug in the back corner right and as soon as i brought up something then the tv turned off right so it's almost like and now we're sitting in silence right so you might be worried, okay, that you might end up feeling, I've never really said this before because I haven't felt this in a long time, you might be worried about feeling awkward around this person, okay? You might be worried about pauses in the conversation, not being able to fill the conversation, not being able to have enough to talk about. So you're kind of just like, oh yeah, if you hear that sound, it's just this, right? Oh, I heard, you know, so don't worry so much about filling the conversation, especially if you're um, newer with dating and haven't been in a long-term relationship, or even if you have, 
when you meet the right person, the energy is there and present. And I'll tell you, sometimes I don't believe in awkward silences, but if you're someone that does, I really don't. Because I've been meditating since I was, what, 20? Um, when, there's, when there's stillness, right? The fact that the music went off, when things get quiet, that's when I get very peaceful. That's when I can feel it's the sound of silence. And when you're with someone that you actually have chemistry with, and not only just chemistry, but this palpable energy of connection, what could feel like an awkward silence to some people, if you're deeper than that, right? That's where that richness comes in, where the two of you can be in silence and there's space in that silence, right? Who are those people that you love in your life where you can just be in silence with them and the silence is full? It's full. And if you haven't had that before, I'd recommend if you are looking to date at this time, right? Don't worry about filling silence. See if your person can deal with being in silence. And I remember Alanis Morissette is one of my favorite female musicians, singer songwriters. And I forget exactly which song it is. I don't think it's ironic. It's not ironic. Um, Jagged Little Pill. Maybe Jagged Little Pill. And she says um, something about like, some people can't, you probably can't even stand silence. Here, try it for a second. And she cuts the music out. Literally in the middle of her song. And it's dead silent. And then the music comes back on. And I love how rebellious she is. I love how in the middle of a song, right, she cuts it and says, you probably can't even handle silence. So it's those people that have to fill the silence at all times, right? Silence is beautiful. Silence is so rich. Silence is the time for us to communicate without communicating, right? I went on a, on a tangent there, of course, but don't worry so much about the conversations that you're going to have. Worry about how you feel when you're with them, okay? Tell me more. Four of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Wands. This is the second time that the Four of Wands has come up. Are they worried? What is it? What, tell me more about this Four of Wands. You're seeking balance. You're seeking balance and you don't want there to be too much pressure for a commitment, okay? Four of Wands, again, Venus and Aries. This is all about love and forward motion when it comes to love connections, right? Commitments, again, usually marriages, celebrations, right? Don't put too much emphasis and stress on having a long-term connection. That's where it's kind of like we're expecting a fire, like a bonfire, and we haven't even like put the kindling in yet, right? You're in the kindling stage right now with that Knight of Cups. Put your kindling in, 
and then see what happens, right? Because with a good fire, okay, a good fire that's going to last a few hours, right? With just a little bit of effort, right? As opposed to you throw a bunch of leaves on, on the fire pit and set it ablaze and it burns and it's huge, right? But it lasts a minute. As opposed to small little things, small little pieces of kindling that you're burning slowly, right? They light on fire, right? Things are catching. Then you add bigger pieces on. See if those catch. If those catch, then you can add bigger pieces on. But if they don't catch, rewind. Start at the kindling again. Start at the kindling, right? So depending on where you're at in this connection, if you've literally never talked before, right? Start with some small movements forward, right? Eye contact, body language, Facebook messaging, Instagram messaging, sending notes, things like that, exchanging phone numbers, chit chat, okay? And if that goes well, start adding more. You wanna have a phone call one night? You wanna do some FaceTime? You wanna go on a date in person, right? Want to go out to dinner go for a walk go on a date have a picnic underneath a tree so don't expect commitment and marriage like before you've even done the proper courting and if there's anything that i've learned in the last three years of my life is that sorry gentlemen a lot of gentlemen these days my boyfriend is totally different he courted me from the beginning and i appreciated that Courting is very necessary. If you're courting a woman and she's, I don't want to say this and offend anybody, if she's a real woman, right, she will love to be courted. She'll love to have the door open. She'll love to have flowers. She'll love to have small little gifts. She will love the process of being treated like the princess that she is, right? It's just, uh, just, that's very traditional, right? But do not forget about the process of courting and the respect that goes into the process of courting, okay? It's very important that there is balance, temperance in the connection before you try to make a commitment, hierophant in reverse, okay? Don't settle into commitment energy until you feel balance within the situation, what does balance feel like? Balance feels like things are calm. Things are easygoing. Things are smooth, right? The communication is good. There's fluidity. Hey, do you want to hang out on Friday? Great. Yeah, I'm free Friday. Great. Okay. Where do you want to go? Oh, you like Indian? I like Indian. Oh, great. Seven o'clock? Perfect. See you there. I'll meet you there. Okay, great. Oh, I already made reservations. Beautiful. Oh, what do you want for food? You want to try this and cut the meals in half and share it? Great. Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, oh, hey, you want to go out next Saturday? I have this great sushi spot. Oh my God, I love sushi. It's just, it's easy. It's not like, oh, I have plans. I can't do blockages, blockages, blockages. When God wants you to be with someone, they will open the world. Three, 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 three. They will open the world for you to make that happen. And what's not for you God will put up as many blockages as possible to make sure this connection does not happen, right? Tell me more here. This is a very fun reading. Five of Pentacles. The person that you're courting or attempting to court has issues feeling worthy, okay? Five of Pentacles here, Mercury and Taurus. This has come up twice for the Empress, okay? Um, for you, please ensure that you're okay financially 